Hi, so um, today's lesson is going to be on pattern sequences and hopefully by the end of this lesson you'll be able to create, interpret and describe pattern sequences and um, answer an exercise on them. Okay, so we'll jump straight in. Um, this is easier than regular sequences most people find because there is the visual element of the actual patterns. Um, the only step which might be more difficult is describing because when you look at a pattern um, as a visual, you might not see what's happening to the numbers. So you just gotta make sure that you write out the numbers each time and then the pattern uh, description is just as easy. Okay, so let's just jump straight in for the first example. So here we've got a series of patterns made with matchsticks. Um, pattern one, it's a triangle, and then each pattern you're adding an extra triangle on. So if you wanted to draw out the next ones, you could just draw on more triangles each time and um, that's easy enough to visualize what's happening in that pattern. But if we want to describe it, um, we need to actually start counting how many matchsticks we're using and think what's actually happening. So the first pattern, you can count them. There's three matchsticks. Uh, the next pattern, one, two, three, four, five matchsticks. Next pattern, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven matchsticks. Fourth one has got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine matchsticks. And then when it comes to describing it, we've got to describe um, in terms of to get to the next pattern, how much more do we need in terms of matchsticks? And looking at the patterns, you can easily see it's one more triangle. You might just assume, well, a triangle's got three matchsticks and therefore it's gonna be an extra three match six, but look at the numbers. The numbers, it's plus two, plus two, plus two. And it's because um, the next triangle you draw has already got one of the match sticks in place for it. So you only need two extra match sticks each time. So if you ask to describe um, this pattern, this uh, sequence, you'd be adding two match sticks each time. That's what's the description of what you need to do for the next one. Let's have a look at another example. So, similar sort of thing. Some patterns with matchsticks that look a little bit like houses. Um, and just draw an extra house on the end of the block uh, for each extra uh, pattern. So, let's have a look. We've got the first one. Um, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six matchsticks. Next one. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven matchsticks. Be careful not to count this one again because we already counted it. Third one. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Okay, now it's asking us for the number of matchsticks in pattern four. We haven't got pattern four. We've got a choice. We could draw out pattern four, or we could look at the numbers. Now, whichever way you do it, you should get the same answer. If we can do it from the numbers, it's going to be a little bit quicker. So it's in our best interest to do that. Let's look what's happening to the numbers. 6 to 11, add 5. 11 to 16, add another 5. So add another 5, you're going to get 21 matchsticks in pattern number 4. If you drew it out, you would get that same thing. Because you're drawing on an extra house, each house has got 6 matchsticks, but one of the lines for the house is already there. So that's why it's add five and not add six. And if we want to describe that, we're going to add five match six each time. Okay, so it doesn't always have to be to do with match six. It can be to do with other things as well. So we've got here, we've got some chairs and tables. You can see if you've got one table, then you can get 12 chairs around it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. Now if you add an extra table in, you can get some more chairs around it. More people can sit down. So let's just count how many we've got. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So 16 chairs around the two tables. If you've got three tables, let's count it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay. Again, we have not got the pattern drawn out for the next one, so we could draw it out, but it seems like a lot of stuff to draw out, so why don't we just have a look at the numbers instead? Going up in four, going up in four, 
So if we go up in four again, it's going to be 24. Yes. So let's look at this and see what's happening. You're going to get this four up the side and this four up this side in every single pattern that doesn't change. All that's changing when you put the extra table in is two more people at the top and two more people at the bottom can sit down. So that's why it's an extra four each time. So add four chairs for each extra table. Right, so that's all I need to say for uh, today's work. It's, I think, a task you'll find relatively straightforward because there's this visual element to it. Um, you might find one or two of the last questions tricky, but if you do find them tricky, then just ask for help. Um, complete the attached exercise, photograph it, and upload the work as usual. Okay, and that's it for today.